All right, guys, what's going on? I'm going to try something a little different here. I picked up a CO2 regulator from CO2 Art. Uh, I know there's been a lot of talk about them going around on the forums because they're pretty cheap. I mean, I think I spent about 100 bucks in total for everything here. So let's have a look at it, I guess. So I got uh, one of these inline atomizers. Intense, pretty sweet. A little bubble counter. I guess these uh, regulators don't come with the bubble counter, so that sort of makes them look a bit cheaper too. And uh, I did get an email from one of the guys at CO2 Art once my regulator shipped saying that I was getting an unreleased version of the regulator just to try out. I should say that I did pay for this. It wasn't given to me. I'm just doing this review so you guys can see what it's all about. So it looks pretty solid. Um, some of the upgrades that he told me that they did, you get uh, control over your, your working pressure. Whereas the previous single stage they had it was just a fixed working pressure, so that's pretty cool. And then there's the power cable, which looks kind of, I don't know, looks kind of janky. But I'm sure it's not going to be an issue. I'm not going to be bending it or playing around with it too much. International power plugs and shit. Pretty cool. Let's see how this works. Okay. Sweet. It's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, it feels pretty solid. I think uh, the regulator on its own without the bubble counter is like 75, 80 bucks, which is like half the price of GLA. Pretty fancy, eh? Let's see how this thing goes on. Is there any washers? No. I mean, I'm a little worried about, uh, well, I'm not worried about it, but I know the main selling point with the GLA regulators are that their single stage guarantees no end of tank dumps. So I don't know what that's going to do with this. I know it's a little bit of a cheaper quality one, but it still looks solid. I don't really worry too much about end of tank dumps anyways. I mean, if you're watching your, your tank pressure gauge, as soon as it drops, get it changed. Like, there's no reason to let it go on empty. Then you don't have these problems, right? I think that's where this goes. Yeah. It seems about right. So I have some plants coming in the mail this week, and they will be going in here eventually. I've been putting that off since September, so that'll be cool. Oh, and a little salt mess. Got a new light on there, pretty sweet. Kessel A160s. So yeah, here's the regulator. I like it but we'll see after it works. So I just did a leak test and uh, everything seems to be okay. Um, so I'm just gonna play around with the controls here so you can see how it works. I don't really have a, a totally full CO2 canister. I'm gonna have to get that refilled tomorrow, but see this needle valve here because that's what everybody seems to wanna know more about. 
I don't have anything hooked up to it. It's just the bubble counter right now, so that could be moving. Okay. I like having a big knob here for the working pressure too. Beats having to use a screwdriver and a wrench. Okay, yeah, that's holding at 30 PSI now. I'll try the solenoid. Right, put it back in. Needle valve actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna like this regulator. Like I said, uh, I don't think this is released yet. I just bought whatever was on the website and they told me they were giving me something new. So I said, cool, let's try it out. And uh, they didn't ask me to do this video. I just kinda went ahead and did it on my own. I'm not getting paid for this review, so. If I say I like it, it means I like it, and I like it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll give you some updates in a couple weeks once the tank is going and filled, and you know, hopefully I don't gas any fish when I uh, do have it set up. Sweet. All right. Thanks for checking it out.